behaviour addictive to work, relationships, collecting, materialism, you name it. Anything that the consumer society or the consumer marketing people suggested it would be good for me or I should want. And these days all I want is a bit of peace, peace in my daily doings, living life or having joy, happiness, sadness, unhappiness, whatever it is, just experiencing my feelings on a daily basis and knowing what they are and being able to embrace them rather than push them away or deny them. And what did alcohol do for me? Well, it enabled me to push down loads of feelings and put a great big concrete block of fear on top because if I ever uncovered my feelings, what on earth would I do with them? So, alcohol was a great alleviator of pain to the point where it got to oblivion and in oblivion I lost the plot completely totally mad and unable to cope with life so what's the gift for me these days well simply sobriety gives me back an understanding of what it is to be human have my feelings back whatever they are good or bad although I don't know that there are any bad feelings feelings inform me about what is going on and then I can make some choices based on my thinking so I know it can be quite contentious to say feelings come first and then we think about them because some people would like to think first and then have feelings based on their thinking I don't know that it works that way we have a feeling we have a reaction and then it's about how we respond to what is going on inside us so either we can deny what is going on inside us and think ourselves into a frame of mind which pushes those feelings away or we can acknowledge those feelings and say well what am I going to do about them and why are they there so life is strange it's not easy being human but it's easier without a drink inside me and not trying to obsess on what I need or want it's the wants which get me and it's covering my knees, roof over my head, understanding where I am today and acknowledging I need help on a daily basis to keep me on track and that is to be included in family, community and society and to play my part or rather live my part in the world, live and have experience of life so I may progress gradually on this weird road of destiny and I say weird because it's full of potholes and it's full of mountains sometimes that we have to acknowledge and deal with but what happens is as we go along in sobriety we don't store up a whole bag full of trouble for ourselves we actually try and deal with things as they are occurring rather than wait until they get so big and horrible that we have to do something in an emergency so sobriety for me is about dealing with life as it, as it, as it actually happens and not being so worried that I push everything away and think it will go and disappear because problems don't disappear they usually just get bigger so my life in sobriety what makes it work me actually but I can't do it on my own and what's helped me most of all <coughs> to understand how I can be part of family community and society is a fellowship called AA, Alcoholics Anonymous and I don't speak for it, never can, never will it's full of unique authentic people who have their own life path the gift is we are similar but we're not special and different so we all have an equal size, a right size of being in the moment of now that's the same size as everybody else we are all as important as each other no matter what other people might think or feel so how does AA help me? Well, it gives me fellowship, it gives me a place to go to meetings, it gives me a toolkit, and a toolkit to live by, principles of living, based on 12 steps of action to change my attitude and behaviour on a daily basis. And the AA fellowship has a statement of intent, or a preamble shared at every meeting, which goes like this. And I share it and read it here, because it slows me into the moment of now and makes me reflect that I do belong somewhere in this world. So, the AA preamble reads as this. 
Alcoholics Anonymous is a fellowship of men and women who share their experience, strength and hope with each other that they may solve their common problem and help others to recover from alcoholism. The only requirement for membership is a desire to stop drinking. There are no dues for AA membership. We are self-supporting through our own contributions. AA is not allied with any sect, denomination, politics, organisation or institution. It does not wish to engage in any controversy neither endorses nor opposes any causes. Our primary purpose is to stay sober and help other alcoholics to achieve sobriety. So fellowship is about sobriety, not about anything else. So we can have every view and opinion that we believe is right for us, but we don't necessarily take it into a meeting to try and share anything else but sobriety. So we have our unique, authentic outlook as it is today, life experience learned. And then we share our experience, strength and hope. And how we do that is our personal, unique, authentic way as well. So it's not about conforming, it's about telling the truth of our situation. And last night in a meeting I shared about my truth, which is AA is my bedrock, it's the bedrock of my sobriety which makes life possible and as part of that I have to acknowledge there are other conditions I face like type 1 diabetes and clinical depression and I get professional help for that. AA has taught me if I push it away and rely just on 12 steps I may find myself in bother again. You know we can't cure all with the 12 steps they are principles of living to the truth of and the reality of now so I need to acknowledge and understand my emotional, spiritual, physical condition on a daily basis. So I am not deluded and I do not believe that the principles in their own right will achieve uh, harmony and serenity on a daily basis. We still need society to live a normal life and to acknowledge what is going on for us. So medical professional help is often part of the story and to suggest otherwise would be quite unhelpful to a lot of people and having shared it last night a lot of people came up and said well not a lot three came up and said I'm glad you said that because it was so important to me and that's a miracle in itself to tell the truth anyway daily reflections this book which I share here is all about step two in February which is a, uh, come to believe that I came to believe that a power greater than myself could restore me to sanity and that power greater than me is the truth of now. Loving uh, love and also being a part of, being included. So truth, love and learning from others, the wisdom of others. That's what keeps me going. Everything's higher than me. I just get informed on a daily basis and then make the choices I can based on what is good for sobriety. So today's reading, Mysterious Paradoxes such is the paradox of AA regeneration, strength arousing out of complete defeat and weakness, the loss of one's old life as a condition of finding a new one. What glorious mysteries paradoxes are, they do not compute, yet we recognize and accept it, they reaffirm something in the universe beyond human logic. When I face fear, I am given courage. When I support a brother or sister, my capacity to love myself is increased. When I accept pain as part of the growing experience of life, I realize a greater happiness. When I look at my dark side, I am brought into a new light. When I accept my vulnerabilities and surrender to a higher power, I am graced with unforeseen strength. I stumbled through the doors of AA in disgrace, expecting nothing from my life, and I have been given hope and dignity. Miraculously, the only way to keep the gifts of the program is to pass them on. And the gift of that is around acceptance of being a part of, included and sharing. And at the end of these videos, the serenity prayer to acceptance of now. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. Courage to change the things I can. And the wisdom to know the difference is for me just for today. We can have both. Actually, my substance of addiction was alcohol, my behaviour during those 35 years trying to do my best to be perfect and perfectly imperfect, never perfect. So what have I learned uh, during those years? Probably I was on the wrong path, the wrong path for me and my life. 
simply by taking a drink a day at a time, it took the edge off and maybe I did not challenge myself enough when others provided plenty of challenges for me. So it's not been a waste of time, that's the most important thing I've learned. Every moment that got me to a place of sobriety and into recovery from addiction has been worthwhile. A lot of pain, a lot of happiness, a lot of joy, you name it. We, uh, if we are on a path of sobriety or recovery or on an old path, the goal probably was the same, to be peaceful and happy, to find some serenity and make sense of life. But, you know, uh, I'm finding that being sober a day at a time gives me a better, better opportunity to find out who I am on a daily basis. And sometimes I just don't know. But at the moment, I feel okay. And uh, a lot of regime change for me. But what keeps me going is the fellowship of Alcoholics Anonymous. Keeps me going in the right direction. And if I, if I keep sober, then I have a better chance of living. So the fellowship, I don't speak for it. The Fellowship of AA has no spokespeople. It's a, a fellowship of people equal sized, going in one direction, soberly a day at a time, their own direction. Nobody else's, just their own, and being a part of life. And at the beginning of every meeting which I go to, a preamble is shared, and it goes like this. Alcoholics Anonymous is a fellowship of men and women who share their experience, strength, and hope with each other that they may solve their common problem and help others to recover from alcoholism. The only requirement for membership is the desire to stop drinking. There are no dues or fees for AA membership. We are self-supporting through our own contributions. AA is not allied with any sect, denomination, politics, organisation or institution, does not wish to engage in any controversy, neither endorses nor opposes courses, and has no opinion on my videos. Our primary purpose is to stay sober and help other alcoholics to achieve sobriety. And the reason why I emphasise that uh, my videos are all about recovery for me and although I talk incessantly about AA I don't speak for it, never can, never will. It's part of the traditions that AA remains a place of anonymi anonymity and for me anonymity was not my, go my gig if you like. Anonymity is not about my, my silence and anonymity is about just finding sanctuary and the sanctuary of the fellowship and the meetings of AA that sanctuary provided me with an well, it provided me with an opportunity to find out what spiritual living might be. And spiritual for me is simply being able to see real life as is in the day. So, yes, I am very, very fortunate. And uh, gratitude is something that is talked about in in the fellowship a lot. If, if ooh, my book fell. If we can find gratitude uh, and a way of understanding our lives a little bit better on a daily basis and do it soberly, we can be connected in a better way with what is going on around us. Not in charge of it, not in control of it, we're just getting on as we can with what we have. And in this little blue book called The Twelve Steps and Twelve Traditions, uh, it gives an outline of the Twelve Step Action Program for people and the Twelve Traditions which hold the fellowship together. So it's like a reference book for me and uh, it's February, uh, second month, second step and I've been talking all about um, the second step of the action program which says came to believe that a power greater than ourselves could restore us to sanity and it, the, pre the uh, paragraph which is the summary of the step reads like this what can we believe in? AA does not demand belief, 12 steps or any suggestions and the whole program is based on suggestions and not instructions Importance of an open mind, variety of ways to faith, substitution of AA as a higher power, plight of the disillusioned, roadblocks of indifference and prejudice, lost faith found in AA, problems of intellectuality and self-sufficiency, negative and positive thinking, self-righteousness, defiance is an outstanding characteristic of alcoholics, step two is a rallying point to sanity and the right relation to God or good conscience depending on your belief in a higher power. And, uh, you know, how, how are we restored to sanity when we've probably lived for a long, long time with an insane set of circumstances, that is, drinking in order to feel okay? It must be madness, in a way, to try and take the edge off life and not experience it as it is, mainly because it felt too painful, and then not understanding that, you know, maybe pain is necessary for growth. Yes. All these things I didn't really understand when I first got to AA, 
and uh, the gentle process of learning to understand how to live my life in a way which fits in with what is possible and not trying to do the impossible all the time is, is what saved me, I guess, and kept me going back. So what have I learned? I know that my intellect, my thinking kept me drinking and my best feelings today keep me going back to a fellowship which just helps me on a daily basis. So there is no dogma really because everybody finds their own program. It's a self-healing program where we lean on the many for their wisdom and sometimes we have a sponsor and sometimes we don't. It's all a matter of what is right for you and what is right for me and there are maybe a thousand thousand different ways to find recovery and I find it best in the company of others who have made it and keep sober one day at a time and that we learn from those who are one day sober to 100 days or 1000 days or 10,000 days we all have a part to play in sharing wisdom and that is the key the wisdom that we learn to make life work so daily reflections is uh, one of the other pieces of literature I refer to and for today, being February, uh, it does have a, a connection to step two, hence to believe in a higher power that would restore us to sanity. And I reckon I was probably restored to uh, sanity. It says only for today, and I don't know that I, w I was ever that sane before I got to AA. So maybe I've just been given the opportunity to find sanity on a daily basis, my own, and not somebody else's, because we are unique and authentic. So, A Thankful Heart, page, uh, February 24, in this book. I try to hold fast to the truth that a full and thankful heart cannot entertain great conceits. When brimming with gratitude, one heart, one's heartbeat must surely result in outgoing love, the finest emotion that we can ever know, and that comes from As Bill Sees It. My sponsor told me that I should be grateful, a grateful alcoholic and always have an attitude of gratitude that gratitude was the basic ingredient of humility, that humility was the basic ingredient of anonymity, and that anonymity was the spiritual foundation of all our traditions, ever reminding us to place principles before personalities. As a result of this guidance, I start every morning on my, on my knees thanking God for these three things. I'm alive, I'm sober, and I'm a member of Alcoholics Anonymous. Then I try to live an attitude of gratitude, and thoroughly enjoy another 24 hours of the AA life. AA is not something I joined, it is something I live. And I guess I live the 12 steps. But when it comes to thanking God, my, my understanding of God is truth, and God is love, and God works through people. And, you know, people have their own belief, and it's their personal belief which counts, not, not mine. So it's not for me to suggest one way or another what a, a higher power, power might be for another person. But I am alive, I am sober, and I'm a member of Alcoholics Anonymous. And when it talks there about anon anonymity was the spiritual foundation of all our traditions, I suspect anonymity is the sanctuary, this is just me, an anonymity is the sanctuary which provides me with the opportunity to find out what spiritual might be for me. But anonymity is really also concerned with being the same size, of equal size, uh, no more important, no less important than anybody else. And that is the real gift for me. And my thankful heart, the gratitude. I'm going to start doing a gratitude list, and I never thought I, would, I should be saying this. But it's a useful tool to find out why am I grateful today. And it says there for three things. I'm alive, I'm sober. And I go to a fellowship which keeps me sober one day at a time. And I don't make, need to make it more complicated or, or any harder than that. Of course I will, because I've got an intellectual brain. But the trouble with the thinking brain, it ignores the emotional part of us and ignores this spiritual thing that we can possibly plug into, which for me is simply truth. And when I say, God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the th things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference, I really, really mean it. <laughs>